Hi, everyone. My name is Nick. I'm the founder and CEO of Vast Minds, which is a healthcare technology company based here in the United Kingdom. So, how was Vast Minds created? And that's the first question that everyone wants to know. Um, so, following a career in investment banking, that's actually where I spent the majority of my time in my early career. Um, and I spent the majority of my time working within algorithmic trading teams. And so through that process, I developed a deep understanding of how algorithms work uh, and how they apply to real world applications. And especially in that environment, when you have uh, many, many dollars at stake. Um, but I've always been fascinated with applying smart and intelligent algorithms to see how they can solve real world applications in the healthcare field. Hence, the birth of Vast Minds. And at Vast Minds, we aim to enhance the virtual delivery of care to allow anyone, regardless of where they live, to access world class healthcare. And so, why was Vast Minds created? Well, quite simply, a significant proportion of healthcare expenditure, global healthcare expenditure, in fact, is treating individuals, uh, is attributed to treating individuals with chronic. Uh, and mental conditions. And, and this is a growing problem. It's a silent epidemic that is especially problematic in developing countries where, of course, accessibility to healthcare is scarce. Now, telemedicine, which has, of course, seen large growth throughout the pandemic, is partially addressing this accessibility issue. And uh, it's doing this by providing a convenient way for patients to connect with doctors and physicians and other healthcare professionals. However, and this is a big, big but, uh, there is currently no way of efficiently remotely monitoring patients without costly physical devices. And these physical devices could be uh, regulated medical devices, such as a pulse oximeter, um, a blood pressure cuff, even some wearable devices, such as the Apple Watch, can set a consumer back a couple of hundred US dollars. So. Really, the goal here is to try and make the try and allow anyone to access their physiology, to remotely monitor the physiology um, with little cost barrier to entry and extreme accessibility. So, how do we do that? Well, VastMinds actually develops innovative software that makes healthcare more accessible and affordable to everyone um, using artificial intelligence or AI as it's more widely known as. Um, so what we do is just by looking at someone's face, we can understand their health better. And the way it works is that light subtly illuminates blood vessels underneath the skin. That means, and actually what happens is your skin slightly changes color every time blood pulsates throughout your body. So yes, your skin does change color and no, a human cannot see this. Um, but a computer can see this. A computer can see subtle color variations in your facial skin. And so exploiting this phenomenon, we're able to non-invasively measure someone's pulse rate, their oxygenation levels, their respiratory rates, um, their stress levels, um, other key vitals in seconds. And our, our technology can be remotely installed on smartphones, laptops, um, anything really with an embedded camera. So that allows anyone that possesses such a device to conduct regular physiological assessments without the need for a physical device. And so what are we being used for? Where are we being used? Um, so to answer that question, our technology can actually positively impact several industries. That include life and health insurance, uh, travel and hospitality, telemedicine, like I just talked about, uh, mining, energy, uh, and many more. In the travel industry, for example, uh, Vast Minds, our technology can help consumers feel as safe as possible, especially when traveling amid the COVID-19 pandemic. And so it, it, this tool simply acts as a extra reassurance by using AI to make quick and effective health scans more accessible to the consumer. The, the technology can inform anyone about their own health risk and also helps airlines in the aviation sector manage their business risk in a number of ways. We, I mean, you could effectively measure the vital signs or physiology of anyone at check-in pods. We can conduct regular passenger health checks remotely via smartphones. 
before arriving at the airport and scan passengers' vital signs before boarding too. Um, and, and other applications within the aviation industry, just because it's such a fascinating industry for us, um, is looking at enhancing risk-based screening tools so for security purposes, so remotely monitoring the stress of individuals entering um, international borders. And so really, what is the importance of this type of technology? Well, it would help to answer this question with a more quantifiable metric. And if you look at the US's annual healthcare expenditure, which is around about three and a half trillion US dollars, 90% of that is for people with chronic and mental conditions, 90%. So our technology can quickly, effectively, and accurately monitor the health and wellness of these individuals um, who may suffer from chronic conditions by simply just looking at their face to reveal their vital physiology. And if you consider the added pressure of COVID-19, our type of technology can support teams experiencing significant resourcing issues as well as and help to monitor and manage key health indicators for staff, particularly for those in high risk environments, such as mining and, and energy, for example. And uh, Vast Minds, as a, as a company, we work hard to communicate the importance of accessible medical screening. Accessible is really the key word here uh, to everyone and the, the potential to maximize um, health benefits or health outcomes as a result. Um, and it's clear to see the market size for this type of solution is quite vast. Um, and since that, we could use, be used on pretty much any embedded device with a camera. Um, I mean, if you just take the most, the, 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 the regular consumer technology device that everyone uses, the smartphone, there are approximately three and a half billion smartphone users globally. And now you can approximate that about 350 million of those will be elderly users aged 65 or over that are considered more prone to health risks. Therefore, from that statistic, we can assume, assume that 175 million users are likely to suffer from chronic illness. And our goal is to ensure that the chronically ill, anyone with a health complication, can easily access their physiology no matter wherever they are in the world.